Mixed revisions is one of the most common things that you will end up doing if you're mixing your own music or if you're mixing a client's track. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create multiple mixed versions of the same song and also being able to recall them instantly with one click so that you can compare them and choose which mix revision is the right for you. Let's get started. So let's take a hypothetical scenario. Let's say that you are mixing a client's track and you send them the first version. You're really proud of this version. Everything is where it should be, but they come back with tweaks and they say, you know, I want the vocals to be louder, which is one of the most common tweaks, or maybe I want the drums to be a bit brighter. How do you create multiple versions of the mix inside your Cubase project? so that you can audition very easily between V1 and V2 and V3 and V4, for example. Now, Cubase has a built-in feature that's golden when it comes to this. And the feature that allows you to do this in Cubase is called Mix Snapshots. You don't have to save a separate project every single time when you want to have V2, V3. Because when you save several projects, it's going to take time to load each project again to audition the differences between the different mixes. So let me show you how you can do this in Cubase. I know this is a feature that many people don't use or they are not aware of. So let's say we have this track here and I'm going to open the mixer. Let's say that this is the first version that I'm happy with and I'm going to send it to my client. Now, what I can do is I can save this version as my first revision. So the way to do this is go here on the top left corner and just save this mix console snapshot. So see this little camera icon? I can just click on it. And now this snapshot is saved. So this, I can call it mix one. And now I can even have some snapshot notes and I can say, this is the first mix nicely balanced in my opinion. But now let's say my client comes back to me and says, you know what, can we have the drums a little bit louder? So what I can do now is I can play the track Maybe I want the kick drum a little bit louder. Think of the things that we left behind. I start spiraling. And maybe they also ask me to have the synth a little bit lower in the mix. So I can go to my synth group here. Think of the things that we left behind. I start spiraling. You make me lose. Now, once I do these revisions, I can go and save this mix console snapshot again. So I can click on this icon here and this is going to be my mix two. And here, for example, I can add to my snapshot notes, louder drums and kick lower synths. And let's add a third version as well. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lower the vocals a little bit, the lead vocals. Think of the things that we left behind I start spiraling, you make me lose my mind SOS Maybe the group vocals here are a little bit loud Think of the things that we left behind I start spiraling, you make me lose my mind SOS And now I can add this third mix So I'm going to add it, call it mix 3 and say quieter vocals and BVs. Now here's where this feature is amazing. Now what I can do is I can go back to any one of these mixes without reloading the project, without reloading all the plugins, all these things. So now I can go back to mix one and check what happens in the faders here. Boom, the mix is now recalled. So I can go back to the original mix straight away. Okay, let's go back to mix two. Let's compare. I'm going to go to mix two and this is the louder drums and kick. Think of the things that we left behind. I start spiraling, you make me lose my mind. So 
And now let's go to mix three. And now let's say that my client says, oh, you know what? I prefer mix two, but I want a little bit more top pen on the vocals and the drums. So what I can do now is I can recall my snapshot two, my mix two, and I can go to my drums. And let's say I want to add a little bit more top end like this. Think of the things that we left behind. I start and I'm also going to go to my vocals here and add a little bit of top end to the vocals as well. And now I can save this snapshot again, and this is going to be my mix four. So now I can go from mix two Think of the things that we left behind. to mix four. Think of the things that we left behind. I start spiraling, you make me lose my mind. And of course, this applies to plugins as well. So for example, if I want to add a little bit more low end to the kick drum for my mix five, I can go here to my EQ P1A and I can add a little bit of boost. Let's try this. Think of the things that we left behind. I start spiraling, you make me lose my mind. SOS. And now I can add this as a snapshot and you will see that here we have the boost. If I go to mix two, for example, the settings are updated straight away and it doesn't stop there. Let's say that for my mix five, I want to go ahead and add an envelope shaper on my kick drum to make it a little bit more punchy. Let's do this. Think of the things that we left behind. I start spiraling. I'm going a little bit over the top now, but uh, I want to show you how this works. So as you can see, now we've added the envelope shaper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to update this mix so that it can include these changes. So I'm going to go here in this drop down menu and select update selected snapshot mix five. So when I do this, now this snapshot is updated. Now check what happens if I go, let's say to mix number two, you will see that the envelope shaper disappears because that wasn't there on mix two. But if I go back to mix five, the envelope shaper appears again. And some other things that you should know is if you go to this drop down menu and select mix console snapshot recall settings, you will see that right here you can choose which settings are going to be recalled when you activate the snapshot feature. So for example, you can save it to recall the pre-gain filters, phase settings, the inserts, the EQ, the channel strip, the send effects, the panning, the volume. You can also choose to only recall the mix for selected channels only. So let's say you only want to recall part of the mix for your vocals. For example, you can click on this and you can only recall the selected channels. So it's a very powerful function. And the most important thing is that this is saved within the Cubase project, which means that you don't have to have multiple projects. You just open one project and then your snapshots are going to be there and you can recall the different mixes for your song. In case you didn't know about the Mix Console Snapshots feature in Cubase, I hope this video helps you understand how powerful it is and how quickly you can move between different mix versions. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. Let us know what you'd like to see next and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.